my good equipment is uh, of course very appreciated so that's why i bought myself some new picks yeah i did it uh i am a jazz three of course series uh <clears throat> enthusiast but i prefer the X large series, les X large series jazz three, okay, and they're larger and they're bigger in your in your hand. So you can uh, use uh, the Tone Lab X properly. You want to hear? It's not too bad because uh, uh, you know there's a there's a lamp in there, so it's nice. Uh, it's better lit in here when I play guitar, because there's a little bit of a, a tube there. That's of course on my iPhone uh, XR, uh, no uh, condom used. They work fine. Uh, I am able to grip the strings with my plectrum. So I would say I'm a five out of five starred system. And I bought also the these guys, the transparent one, the one in uh, Iltex. Uh, they're not as remembered. I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, today I'm not using my orange uh, dark micro of its uh, little name and my hook is in Ketna mit mein F57 uh, uh, of course uh, of course look at that thing a little uh, bit of precision over there and of course the Hall of Fame uh, reverberaciones because uh, this thing doesn't come with it so that's kind of my analog uh, old school uh, little set there it's a uh, uh, Celestian, of course, uh, Vintage 30, and uh, I put it there. This used to be my other thing. Oh, this, very important. Hey, guys, over there at home, listen to me. If you want a new snap in your life and you want your guitar writing to be feeling better, uh, I suggest you use a drum machine. Okay, so that's an old pedal of guitar, multi-effet. But what only interests me in there is the drum machine that I use. I put it over there and it goes like... So you, you go... You know what I'm saying? And then let's say you're there with your guitar and go like... And it's kind of like more enjoyfully for all the family when you live that moment. So I highly suggest that you do it. Cause this is how I do it. Hi, do it. Uh, so I use this thing. It's very helpful. And this is my, of course, my line six. This was a deal. Uh, it's the 75 uh, Spider 4. You know, it's the, it's the good year, uh, a bunch of presets. And there, of course, the insane red, I really like. Uh, it's a chuggy chug in the, in the house. Uh, and, um, and yeah, of course, uh, with this little thing that I uh, never put my feet on, but there's extra stump, stump uh, action. You see, stump modulation delay. Uh, this is also where I do the beatbox things with the the face. You know, like <laughs> to this kind of thing that I put in there, and then I loop uh, with uh, wires that I've put it in there. Look at these things. Uh, okay, uh, I must admit, right now, uh, um, I'm a little low uh, in terms of uh, of guitar. I'm, I still have one uh, where I work. It's for a show that I do, a circus show, because I, I do circus. Because uh, you know. I do circus, guys, okay? I'm, I juggle and I throw people up in the air. Okay, uh, so these are my guitars is but I'm, i mostly look for shapes because i don't have the money to buy it all i don't have the money to um get myself a super fantastic gibson uh, les paul uh, even the studio is kind of expensive you know it's like i like 
the I'm like you guys, I like the cheaper stuff. Okay, it's 200 bucks, but I have a lot of things for my money. Like, look at this thing. This um, this is one of my favorite guitars. I've never taught because I, I had a Fender Stratocaster when I was younger. Okay, like this. I had that in 96. Okay, so I was uh, an adolescent young lady that received this thing. And I was really uh, happy about it, uh, playing some Steve Ray Vaughan things. Like, you know, the... the uh, this thing, you know, when you do this thing, ah, and it's the wood of this thing that, that pops and rings, it's going to be very bluesy or acoustic. I really like it. Uh, so this with that was fantastic. So I was a, I was a Fender Stratocaster guy. I, I was never like a Telecaster guy, but I wanted that shape. And look, it's a Squire, okay? The, the most basic Squire, it's the Affinity, but it's one of a million. I was in uh, the U.S. of A's uh, for a gig, and uh, I, I had some time, and this thing was there, and it was like, what, uh, $111, I think, brand new. At first off, I liked the color. I didn't have that shape in my repertoire, and uh, you know what? It plays uh, amazingly. I do jams with dudes, adults, that are in the same kind of way, like like people with squires or f Mexican uh, fenders uh, or, uh, you know, epiphones of the good kind for the Les Pauls and stuff like that. You know, I'm a Schecter guy, you see, I can have like, a, this is the beautiful Schecter 7 ATX uh, with uh, Duncan blackouts. They're a little bit noisy all the time. That's why I like to put some um, of that fluffy things is in there. So it doesn't uh, ring with sympathy. And this is my fantastic, uh, <laughs> I really do the German accent, but I'm French Canadian actually. I'm like, it's not, je parle français. I speak French. Okay, so this thing is a, is a fantastic, amazing copy of the music man, uh, John Petrucci. Uh, uh, and, and, and it plays uh, beautifully when it's uh, well uh, tuned and uh, set up. And this, my dad gave me that, uh, he had it because my, my dad plays a little bit of bass and he travels and he was here and he didn't, he didn't have a bass, he just bought a squire and then gave it to me for my studio, uh, my studio equipment. Look, okay, this is something I did and this is me over there, you know, in this show, a bunch of friends, Pop. Hey, you want to see something else? Um, this thing, I don't know if uh, you're still interested, but listen. This thing, the Behringer, it's a micro amp, uh, 400. And what it does actually, it's a, it, you, you put a bunch of uh, headphones in there, uh, headphones lines, and everybody have a, a jam into the ears. And it's a fantastic tool when uh, you want to just jam with your friends because a little bit of a microphone here that stands and to make the big voice hey harrison how you doing i don't know you know um... so yeah and those are my gbls that made me a super fantastic youtuber of uh, 3,000 something views and still counting by the dozen each uh, year. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, thank you, Internet, for this sensation. Um, over there also, uh, my uh, thing over there is there. I, it's not necessarily the scotch tape that I want to show you, but uh, this Behringer, very cool, um, very cool thing under the... Uh, my little garage of things, you see? Like you put the computer over there and then underneath there. Okay, another trick. Hey kids, another cool trick is to build yourself a shelf that you put onto uh, your existing table and, and then you have this little bit of a garage that goes uh, uh, like this. You see, I put my equipment, this thing that I never play with is well put there in the garage. A little bit of uh, junk there, my friend. And of course, my uh, audio adapter, my Euphoria from Behringer. I'm very happy about it. I have nothing to say. It does the job. Maybe I'd like more input. Output. 
Maybe I'd like more output. Sorry, I, I lost a little bit in the voice there. But maybe uh, I'd like more output on this thing. But the rest is good, man. I'm happy. Uh, summer is good. I'm going to play some guitar. And I hope you do the same. Um, see you.